Hey, 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 Pisces. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, February 10th to the 11th intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Piscean, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Pisces, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Pisces, I'm going to get a channeled message in just one moment. But first, there's Tarot. So your overall energy, Pisces, is the Knight of Cups. Okay, so what's on your mind? Pisces, what's on your mind here? What's on your mind? Ooh, Pisces, the fool is on your mind. Alrighty then, what's coming towards Pisces? The Six of Swords. What's your response to what's coming towards you, Pisces? The Princess of Pentacles. And your advice. The Two of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, Pisces, let's see what spirit has for you, shall we? Accept who you are, Pisces, and all of your attributes. Understand who you are, where you've been, and how far you've come. Appreciate where you're at now and get excited for the future. Many of you are feeling down as if you have not accomplished everything that you set out to accomplish. Do not worry about the end result. Accept what is now. And continue to move forward. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Alrighty, Pisces, let's see what's going on for you guys, huh? All right. All right, so your overall energy, Pisces, is the Knight of Cups. So you're feeling all romantical. You're feeling all romantical, Pisces. Let's see what's up. There could be a love offer that recently came to you or is about to because it's in your energy here. The Nine of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is an opportunity for love. Temperance. Aha. This is making you nervous because I feel like a lot of you may be healing, right? Over something, over a love situation of the past. And you're trying to find balance again within you. And this opportunity comes along and I, I get this. I don't know if I'm ready feeling that's what I'm getting but it's interesting because what's on your mind is taking a leap of faith so it there is a part of you that wants to take this leap of faith I feel like that will win out and you will but I feel like you're gonna do this slowly yeah clarifying the fool this is funny you get the two of pentacles what else for Pisces what else for Pisces? What else for Pisces in the fool here? The Emperor. I like it. Aries, Taurus, Energy. In the Ten of Wands. Wow. You're like, 
I don't know. You're, you're, this is weighing so heavy on you. You're not sure what to do. You want to take control of this and you just want to leap. But it's like this anxiety and fear is holding you back. I do think you'll overcome it because the, the, it's like the emperor will trump the ten of wands. That's, that's a no-brainer. It's you just got to make that firm decision to do so. And I do feel that you will, but I do also feel you're going to take this extremely slow, which is good. And that's fine. So what's coming towards you is the Six of Swords. So I feel like as a result of this, you you gain peace. You gain peace. And clarity. Ace of Swords. I like it. Wow. And confidence. Oh my gosh. Pisces. This is awesome. Nine of Pentacles. You're learning your worth. I feel like this person is here. I don't know if you'll be with this person for a long period of time, but I don't think it matters because I feel like this person that's coming into your life is teaching you your worth. Teaching you how you should be treated. I really feel like this person is going to treat you like a prince or princess, right? Or like a king or queen, emperor or empress. And it's going to raise your confidence and you're going to you're gonna become more independent and step into that power of Pisces, right? Your response to this is the Princess of Pentacles. You're taking things slow, but you're taking the seed. And I do feel you're appreciating it. And you're appreciating this person. Five of Cups. I feel like there will be a comparison to the past with this person and you're going to realize what you settled for. That's what I'm getting. And you're going to choose a different path. King of Cups. Wow. I feel like your love will grow over time for this individual. There may be another individual that comes towards you. Whoops. Nine of Cups. You're going to... Even if there's another individual, you will make a choice because the choice is here with the two of wands. But I feel like the choice also just may be that you're not going to settle for what you settled for in the past. Now that you've seen and experienced what this King of Cups, I feel like this may be the same person. Mm, not sure. Okay, they feel very similar. So it's irrelevant because I feel like the lesson here is you're going to choose your worth. You're going to choose you in the end and your wish fulfillment and what you will accept and what you won't accept from others. So your advice is the two of swords here, Pisces. This is uh, a hanged woman is clarifying this. So they're wanting you to unstick yourself. And I feel like it has to do with this, this portion, the fool, the emperor, the two of pentacles and the 10 of wands. They're reminding you, take off that blindfold and see, see the possibilities and leap into the unknown, leap into the unknown. See this from a different perspective with the hanged woman. Yeah, four of swords heal take that time to heal if you need to this person will still be there yep four of wands know that your stability is here okay feel that stability and know that the possibilities are endless for the things that you will celebrate i'm getting from the four of wands I feel like you're going to be going to a lot of, um, not necessarily weddings, just like celebrations with that. And I almost feel like they're saying rest up now because you're going to be busy. I feel like this person is going to take you to a lot of places. That's what I'm feeling. All right. At the bottom of the deck is the king of wands here. So ooh, it's sexy time. I feel like you're bringing sexy back. That's what I'm feeling like. That's exactly what I'm feeling like, Pisces. That you're you're finding your sexy again. You're embracing it and you're expressing it. You're not going to hold back. You're going to start off slow, 
Yes, but you're bringing sexy back, Pisces. Gotta tell you. Aw, your animal totem, Pisces, is the panda. Love it. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. Yes, even if it's a corner of the room, Pisces, create it so you can retreat to your sanctuary. It doesn't matter how big it is. Just knowing that a sanctuary is within your home, right? Or make your home a sanctuary, right? All right, Pisces, I hope this resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic day, Pisces, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on The Dailies. Namaste.